And while you were asking, while we're asking questions, let me ask you why your government, your foreign minister, deliberately, cynically deceived us about the nuclear buildup in Cuba. And finally, the other day, Mr. Zorin, I remind you that you didn't deny the existence of these weapons. Instead, we heard that they had suddenly become defensive weapons. But today, again, if I heard you correctly, you now say they don't exist, or that we haven't proved they exist. With another fine flood of rhetorical scorn. All right, sir, let me ask you one simple question. Do you, Ambassador Zorin, deny that the USSR has placed and is placing medium and intermediate range missiles and sites in Cuba? Yes or no? Don't wait for the translation, yes or no? Я не нахожусь в американском суде, и поэтому не, не хочу отвечать на вопрос, который задается в прокурорском плане. Put to me in the fashion in which a prosecutor does. In due course, sir, you will have your reply. You're in the court of world opinion right now, and you can answer yes or no. You have denied that they exist. I want to know if you, if this, if I've understood you correctly. Uh, I should like to say, continue your statement? You will have your answer in due course. Stevenson, would you continue your statement, please? You will receive the answer in the due course. Do not worry. <laughs> I'm prepared to wait for my answer until hell freezes over, if that's your decision. And I'm also prepared to present the evidence in this room. <laughs> which you can all examine at your leisure, shows three successive photographic enlargements of another missile base of the same type in the area of San Cristobal. These enlarged photographs clearly show six of these missiles on trailers and three erectors. And that is only one example of the first type of ballistic missile installation in Cuba. <laughs>